Hi, I'm Doug the Bee Guy, and welcome to this episode of the Beginning Beekeeper Series. Today we're going to talk about where to put your bees and why. Now let's get started. This is the entrance to our bee yard. It needs to be cleaned up a little bit after the winter, but that is my garden hive. And a little bit of folk art. My bees look like they need some paint, but this is where our bees are. So here is one of our bee yards, and I'm just gonna do a pan around uh, the yard here. And each one of my hive stands holds like six or seven hives. And as they fill up, I move them or sell them. But what I wanna talk about is that typically when you read the books and you watch everybody talk about bees, they want you to face your bees in the south to southeastern direction. But in this configuration, the way I have them, I have them all the way around this little area in my yard that is protected by 25, 30 foot evergreen trees. And this hive right here is the only one that is facing the defined south, southeast direction. And as you can see, at this point in the day, it's about four o'clock in the afternoon, it's in the shade. And so the bees are just kind of chilling and they're not doing a whole lot. So this particular hive is facing directly west. And if you've been watching the double nucleus series that I'm doing, this is one of the overwintered double nukes and it is doing fantastic and it faces west, it does not face south or east. So my point is, that yes, the optimum place to put your bees is facing south or southeast, but the best place to put your bees is wherever you can put them. Um, I have some, and they don't get full sun at all because I want them to grow slowly over the whole season and I don't have to worry about them swarming so they build up very slowly because they're not in the direct sun. So really, you just have to think about it wherever you can put them. You don't want to put them in front of a sidewalk. You want to put them facing your neighbor's house. So those kind of considerations I think are more important than facing your hives to the south or to the southeast. I have hives all over this yard that are facing all different directions. And I've done this in this yard for nine years. And I have not found one direction where more hives survive over the winter than the other. So it's even, they die and survive in all directions in this yard. So I don't think that south, southeast has to be your main consideration. I think your main consideration is convenience. Can you get to it? If you have a lot of hives, you need to be able to drive to it. If you're gonna do it for honey, maybe you want a cute little garden hive like my wife showed, and then you're gonna want that somewhere where you can see it, but yet maybe not by a walkway where people are always walking by because the bees will be coming in and out. So those are some of the considerations about where you put your hives. So, Doug the Bee Guy, can you tell me, you chose this area for the bee yard, but the neighbor's house is about 250 feet on the other side of the shrub row. Is that too close? Um. It's not too close. Um, you need to check with your um, county or city ordinances um, for that. We live in the county, so we don't live in the city. So the only county ordinance that is is just you can have bees, but you can't put them on the property line. And I think the minimum distance is 30 feet or 50 feet. It's a very short distance. But what the reason I chose that area is because that is a very protected area. We have 30 or 40 foot pine trees all the way around it. So it protects the beehives from the wind in the winter time. And it's like a bowling alley. It's a straight shot right down to our pond, which is about a quarter acre pond. And the bees go onto the rocks there and they drink. Even though my neighbors have a pool and they be kind of attracted to chlorine water, my bees never go there because they love the pond water and there's so much of it and they go straight down that open area and they go to the pond. Typically when bees go out of the hive, they go straight up. 
because they want to get to the sun and then they peruse the area to see what's around them. They don't fly three feet off the ground. So from where we're at, we're right in front of our pond and it's a straight shot, probably 400 yards to my bee yard that I showed, uh, the circular bee yard. And so the bees come right out of that yard and come right here to the pond. And they come through the little openings on either side of the trees and we can watch them drink the water all summer long. The hotter it gets, the more water they drink because they use water, besides needing water to live, they use water to cool their hive by changing the humidity in the hive. This spot is the center of our horseshoe drive, a little bit further up and closer to the house. Would this be an acceptable place to put my bee yard? This is a fantastic place for bees because it's a little more open than where the garden hive is. We do have trees on both sides, but we have a, a horseshoe area that gets sun. And the other thing is that this like you can put it on this stump and you can put two or three hives in here. And there again, the bees are gonna go up and out. There's not a walkway close to this. We have the driveway. It's far enough from the driveway. It's 20 feet away from the edge of the driveway. So I think this would be a fantastic spot. You can see your bees. People could see your bees as they come to your house. You can talk about them, but you don't have to necessarily be right by them. I think this would be a great spot for some bees. Carry on the path with the kitties. Lulu's in the front and Aussie is towards the back they follow us everywhere we're here because we have a really heavily wooded lot as you can see and we also have had a lot of rain so we've got water in a place that only has water when there's too much rain um, our pond overflows there and then in the middle of the woods here we have this bee hive stand with some hives so Doug why does this work well this is one of the places where I put my nucleus colonies and the reason this works for me is because I don't want the nucleus colonies to grow too fast because the faster they grow then you have to worry about them swarming and building up too fast and dealing with them I want them to grow nice and slow so that by fall they're at the right size to be fed and overwintered so I put them here in a very dappled sunlight area, shaded. And so what they do, the bees come straight out of those hives and go straight up to the sun through the trees. And it takes them longer to get back and to go into forage. And so it does slow them down. But I'm not making honey from these bees. I'm just trying to raise them. And they, they raise just fine in the woods like this. So let's consider this. Maybe you live in the city and you have a little garage like this that faces an alley. Sometimes they face an alley or a sidewalk. And that's all the room you have. You have your building, you have like 10 feet, and you have the, the, the alley. So this is a good spot for bees. What you do is put your beehive here facing the alley so that you can walk behind it. If you can't use this much space, you can work your hives from the side. If you only have two, you could move it closer to your building and work it from the side. But this is where you would want to put the fence, right here. So you want to put the six or seven foot fence right here. The bees are going to come out see that fence and go straight up and then they're not going to bother people and so that's kind of what you would do if it was me and i had enough room i would do this because i like to work my hives from behind because i don't like getting involved in the front as soon as you stand in front the bees gather they get confused and then you have a big mess also if you're at the alley right here's the fence and you're going to be out on the road so if you have to you can do it right up against your building like that and work it from the side. If you have two hives, put one here, one there, work them from the side. Put your fence two to three feet right here. And you could also make an Elko. I've seen people do it where they have their fence and they have a door here and a closure there so that no one can get to it. And no kids can get by your bees and they're in this little Elko and they go straight up and they come straight down and they would be fine. And you can even have a little kiddie pool right there for them to drink in conclusion i hope 
you got some information about where you should put your bees. Um, we can put a list of the things right here, a checklist for things that you should think about. But I think the most important thing is access because you really just can't put bees in a box and leave them there. You need to get to them, you need to inspect them, you maybe need to treat them, you need to look at them. So don't put them in a place that you can't easily get to, especially if you're doing it for harvesting honey because the honey is very heavy and I can tell you after doing this for 10 years I put my bees in a place where it was muddy and I slipped and I fell with honey supers and nobody was around and it's not fun. You need to be able to get to your beehives if you're doing honey easily. If you have any questions about where you should put your bees, leave them in the comments. Or if you have ideas about the best place you found in your uh, experience, leave it in the comments. It will help other people. Until next time, be extraordinary. Well, if you'd like to become a better beekeeper, consider subscribing. Thanks for watching.